because I was one of the first people in England to get involved with the women's movement. And what I saw there, uh, I knew perfectly well, was going to be extremely destructive. For 40 years, they've been doing educational packages, which they then sell to whether it's the police or social services, and the message is always there. It's all men, it's all men, it's all men. And it's a lie, isn't it? It's a massive lie, yeah. When they had finished marching for the civil rights movement, there's a whole story history that you can read it. They came back and decided that the women, leftist women, wanted their own movement. So instead of it being capitalism, which everybody was against in the, in the left-wing movements, they said, ch changed the goalposts and said it was patriarchy. Everything is because of men, because of the power that men have over women. And then the second part of the argument was that all women are victims of men's violence because it's the patriarchy. And that is such a lot of rubbish. We all know that men are violent brutes because they've got a Y chromosome. And women don't. And that's just a horribly sexist thing to say, isn't it? Harriet Harman is a woman who does huge amounts of damage. But I tried to reason with her once. We were both at a conference. And I just said to her, look, Harriet, you've simply got to accept the figures of violent women. She just swung around on me and she, her face changed. She said, the amount of men who are uh, beaten up is minuscule. And I just looked at her and I thought, oh, there's nothing I can do with you because you, you are, your mind's closed. They've built an empire over 40 years. Very, very powerful. But you, we would look at these last 40, 50 years as the dark ages for human relationships. Her book is This Way to the Revolution, a memoir.